Hi there, I'm Carrie with White Magic Sammy Eds, and everyone has been requesting for how to groom their puppy. And so we're going to start with the baby today. Um, most of you should have received a uh, little sample packet of the products that we love to use from Boucher products, Boucher pedigree products. And there is a bluing in here, conditioner, lanolin and protein, and fragrance coat and, coat and fragrance spray in a little bottle here. So also in the month of November, they give 20% off on their, all their products. So I recommend this for your groomer or for yourself. So what I do do, I'm gonna put this over here, is I start with good old fashioned ivory dish detergent for the first bath. Then we do the bluing. The bluing shampoo is concentrated. So I do like one part bluing, two parts water. And the conditioner is basically about a quarter cup or so of the conditioner and one cap full of the lanolin and protein. And then I mix this up together. You can use any container. You can even use a bowl, put the conditioner in there, put the lanolin protein and froth it, and then pour it over the dog. So we're gonna start with a little baby girl here. And uh, this is a groomer's helper. This grooming table is made by Simple Groom. It's a gator table. So basically, I can wash on this, dry on this, do anything. This groomer's helper you can get online. These grooming arms, it's a double clamp, so you have a little bit more support with the bigger dogs. So this groomer helper keeps her from spinning around. So you want to definitely have control of your dog and your puppy. And this is only gonna be her third bath. So she could be a little, you know, fresh. Or like, as you can see right here, she's like, ah, I'm getting out of here, I know what's coming. Good to have a grooming apron. So never, ever, ever leave your dog unattended on a table, ever. Don't ever turn your back for two seconds. If you have to leave, unclip your dog, unsnap, carry your dog. Or if it's an adult dog, take it off the table. So we have towels, two or three is good. The K92 dryer, this is all you need for your Sammy. Basically, this blows out your dog. For those of you that have an older dog, blow out your dog first, then bathe, condition with conditioner, rinse it out really, really well, and then use higher force dryer to totally blow dry your dog. Bone dry. Don't go damp dry. You're gonna end up with hot spots, or you'll end up with a dog that's maybe blowing a little bit of undercoat, and then next thing you know, you've got a matted dog that needs to be shaved completely off. So this is what happens with groomers who are kind of new to a Sammy. They don't quite realize that they uh, they need to really blow out the dog, not just comb out the dog, but blow out the dog. So this sprayer, we have nice warm water here. And we are going now, actually, I'm gonna do something else. This table, these gator tables are awesome when they're dry, but they are a little slippery for young dogs when they're wet. So I'm gonna take this towel and I'm gonna wet it. And we're gonna put this under her. This way, she's got a little more footing here. They also make uh, grooming arms that you can put on the front and the back. And then this way, you can hoist the dog in the back and the front. Um, my daughter's grooming shop, she has it on both ends so dogs cannot slip off the table. It's just not worth the accident or the injury to their knees. And this is totally normal behavior for a puppy to fuss. I got warm water. Beautiful sunny day. It's not cold, it's not hot. But the water's warm. So talk to your dog. Let them know everything's okay. Alright, so we are now wetting the puppy down. I like to save the head for last. They can get quite dramatic just doing their bodies, as you can see. And this is nice warm water. Beautiful day. Now, after I recommend you wash your you can wash your Sammy every other day if you like. Don't just hurt the coat as long as you're conditioning it. Add a little water, so we get a little more lather here. That's 
how you really got to get down to the skin. Make the coat lustrous and beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. So on a full grown adult dog, this is going to be a lot more work. And if you would come close, I'm going to show how to express anal glands here. We're going to do a a simple instruction of how to do anal glands. So come on in right here to the rectum here. So pull the hair away. You gotta pull the tail. When you pull the tail up, the little, little anal gland socks are right on each side of the, the rectum. And you're gonna reach in behind. Now, I'm not gonna show the camera. We're gonna get maybe get a little expressing on the camera, but you reach in and just squeeze. And I got a little, a little bit here. But when I go to dry her, she could get a little excited and express a little scent glands that we really wouldn't like to have on her while we're drying her. So that's how easy it is. Now as the dogs get older, you have to really get in there and squeeze. Really important that's done. If not, you're going to end up with an uh, anal gland infection and that can be really painful for the dog. So as dogs get older, it's a little harder for them to express their scent glands out. And if your dog is spayed or neutered, it's much harder and they're going to get heavier. And it may even be too hard for your groomer to do. If that happens, then you need to go to your vet and they'll do an internal express of the animal. So, there we go. So now, we're going to take the blue shampoo. So this fussing is totally normal. Don't stop and baby your dog. If you do, like I'll talk to her and say, you good girl. You can talk to your dog. Do not stop and give cookies to your dog for for acting out because at the moment she is acting out. So until, and even when they're good, I mean, I give them love, but this is not the place for giving cookies and things like that. So now we're doing the bluing. This helps to just brighten this great coat to begin with. And I'm kind of moving along a little quicker. I would spend a lot more time. Now, while this is sitting, this is the great time for this to soak. Now I'm gonna do her head. And be careful. I always hold the nose up a little. Ears down. Oh, I know, I know. And then they start, they'll start to trust you over time. See how good this groomer's helper is? Unless you have another body helping you, it's like it's basically an extra hand. Keeps her from going anywhere, hurting herself. Put it your nose. Get in here with these ears. It's okay if a little water gets down in the ears. You just don't want to hose down into the ears. Some people like to put cotton balls in there. You're welcome to. I feel they get just as wet and soak up the water too. So I just like to do start and finish the head. Because after I'm done, I'm going to dry her ears and her head right away so she's not sitting here dripping. Okay. And make sure these ears squeak. My biggest pet peeves are dirty, greasy ears. So, and now I'm gonna, you think you got soap in the eye. Rinse them immediately. You're okay, you're okay. Good girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm taking easy to stop. You're okay. Oh, your, your brother was better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my. everybody to see. Not unusual behavior. You're okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, you're fine. Now, do you squeak? Nope, they're not squeaking. So that means I'm going to take a little more ivory. And Fantasy's coming to find out why she's screaming. Uh-oh. I'm going to get in here. In the ear. And we're going to lather up again. Some adult ears take four, five, even six scrubbings if it's been a long time. So if you're grooming your dog regularly, like once a month, typically two of these scrubbings will do the trick. Tell her it's okay. It's alright. There's mommy. So anyway, alright. 
Alright, so, now, since we're going to shortcut this, normally I would put bluing on here, but I don't want to make drag this out, so I would do bluing, rinse. Now I'm going to do the conditioner that I pre-made. A little bit on my hands, put in the muzzle, this stuff smells amazing, it also holds the groom. Now, one last rinse, one more. <laughs> Again, be careful with their nose. So definitely want to rinse their eyes just in case anything got in there. Oh my goodness, young lady. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> your eyes. Now her next room will be better. Her next, her next room will be even better. And before you know it, they stand here like total angels. I guess kids could act out like this too. Alright, now I'm gonna make sure no soap. Now with an adult dog, this would take a lot, 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 lot longer. So this is great to show everybody with a puppy. How much quicker. Alright. And now I'm gonna put the ears. And she actually just came out of her groominess. Yeah. Tighten this a little more. Keep an eye on that too. I didn't have it as tight because it was catching her hair. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, my goodness. All right. You can get a lot of the face dry just doing this, like the muzzle. All this dry will make her feel a lot better. Ah, we're almost done. Almost. Now we're going to rinse the bluing off the body here. All right. Oh, it's not so bad. Oh, not so bad. Not so bad. And again, an adult dog, you could be rinsing 15 minutes, depending on their coat. But if they're getting done regularly, it's so much easier to do than a dog that's done every four to six months. It's going to be a hot mess. They just get packed down at the skin. And unless you blow it out, it can be really, really difficult to get your dog real light. Alright, now we're going to do the conditioner now on the body. Yes. yes. A little cooler than the water. She's like, oh. Okay. Alright. Alrighty, righty, righty. Oh, look at Jewel. Oh, yes. Me and you, almost done. Almost. Almost done. Once a week, the first month, once every two weeks, or once a month. But I'm a little anal, so I like them really clean. All right. Now, take this off. Come here. Come here, princess. All right. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to get them to towel them dry as much as you can. so it won't blow away as easily. If I use a dry towel, it's gonna blow right off the table. And if this is a canine two, a canine three is not necessary. It's a little bit, I guess it's another engine or it's two engines side by side and you get a little bit more power, but it's gonna blow every fuse in your house. And at the end of the day, it's almost too much force that's gonna end up matting your dog. So the canine two is perfect for the sanity. I'm gonna use both engines with the nozzle. Always hold your dog. Not my dog. Your dog.
dog again so I won't stop. If I stop, all I'm doing is teaching her that she screams louder, I'm going to stop. So just, just let her know it's okay, let her know you're here. take the nozzle off and do her head. I can get a little bit of her head with the high power Air Force nozzle. Always protect the dog's ear. Always when you're drying. Most dogs will totally trust you as long as you don't blow into their ear. So respect them. Let them know it's okay. But I'll finish getting her dry and we'll be right back. Yeah, so now we've taken off the nozzle and we've got most of her body pretty bone dry. I got a little bit of her head but she wasn't liking that. So uh, we're gonna now do it without the nozzle. It's a lot lighter, a lot quieter. A lot of people are like, oh, well, why don't you just do this for the whole body? Well, if you wanna take four hours, then so be it. They really do need the nozzle, but you know, when you won't hurt anything. And they actually at the end of the day wanna get it done too. All right, so hang on. Lock her head. Very nice light glow. Too spicy. <laughs> but, hang on, you're alright. You're alright. Like I said, this is very nice, not bad. I like using my foot. Oh. You're alright. Fine. You're good. Oh my. You're good. This actually is her second bath. Because she didn't get bathed after uh, she wasn't leaving. So I, it's actually her second bath. So this is totally normal. Totally normal. Hang on the best you can. <laughs> Good for everyone to see how they can be a hamster. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> 
So now my favorite grooming tools, the Chris Christensen flicker brush and the number one all systems comb. I do like to use the finer side. You can see where I dropped it and you can take a little screwdriver and open that back up. But anyway, after you've got them 95% dry, which is where she is now, you're gonna take your slicker brush and you're gonna pull this coat open. Now open up the coat and back down all the way through the body. And you would do this also on the tail like a plume. It's supposed to be a plume. It's how pretty her coat is. And she's just eight weeks and how many days old? She was Good eight view. weeks old last Thursday. So she's almost nine. Almost nine. Yeah, what's today? Tuesday? Yeah. So she'll be nine weeks old. Palmer, you got anyway, so we're pulling up all this. So this actually helps to dry. And if you do have the ability to, to groom outside, it's wonderful. Then I take the comb. Very important, everybody combs out their dog. Get right down to the skin here. So we're, we call this line combing. So you start with make a line and we're gonna get right down. And after a dog is freshly bathed and conditioned and high air force blow dry, this is like going through like silk. Just right to the skin, everything pulls out. I'm not, not a tingle, tangle, tingle. <laughs> not a tangle to be found. So anyway, now she had her nails done recently. I like to use these wonderful battery operated Dremels that you can get the Dremel light from any Home Depot, Lowe's, and these things are amazing. And that little sandpaper, and she's like, what is that? She's gonna check it out. I'm just gonna knock off a little bit off the point here. And I have my, my, uh, my uh, video that everybody can see. I'm going fast here. And, uh, I have a close-up of doing an older dog that everyone can see online. And then, the last but not least, is a little bit of trimming work. The only trimming really done on your Sammy is on the feet. And um, I'll have Kayla come around the backside here. So, the pads of the feet here. This is the only part that gets trimmed. And with a puppy, it's a really good idea to have an assistant. <laughs> My assistant is video recording right now. So anyway, here, just what you're gonna do is just get in here in the center and then you can put the foot down on the table and trim around the edges here. A little bit, a little tiny bit. She's got very pretty feet, so not a lot. But your dogs, as they get bigger and older, they get big first. Now again, my feet fitting video trimming is available on our site. I think I've already shared it already. If anybody needs it again, I can send to them also. I'm catching a nail there. And then all of this, none of this gets trimmed. This right here from the dew claw pad to the ground can be thinned out with thinning shears just to blend in. But other than that, they need nothing else. So a couple little strands to put here. I'll get that with the tips of my scissors. But the video that I have made for trimming feet is great. When they're babies, it's hard to do them. They're jumping around and wiggling and all that good stuff. And then your fragrance and coat spray that I was telling everybody about in the beginning. I have a big bottle. You guys have a little bottle in your kit and just lightly stand back and mist. You might get a little bit on you, but no worries. It smells great. It smells great. I went I used to go to the bank after grooming all day and uh, the uh, my bank would say to me, oh my God, what do you wear? I'm like, I don't have anything on. And they're like, well, you smell great. I'm like, oh my God, it's Poucher, dog, dog coat and fragrance. But anyway, it obviously smells good on, on, on me. So anyway, that is it in a nutshell, how to groom your puppy, basically to keep your, your baby fresh and clean. And we do have an adult one that we're working on, uh, but this one's easier for me to get uploaded to everybody to share. Have a great day.